My name is Tim Schmaltz. I am a sculptor and I have created this model, a very small model of what hopefully will be one of the largest sculptures in Canada. Uh, one of the most important battles that Canada ever fought in, the Battle of Vimy Ridge. The idea of creating a monument uh, for the 100th year anniversary of Vimy Ridge basically comes from the idea that in Canada we do not have a monument to the Battle of Vimy Ridge. It's in France, it's in Europe, the iconic huge uh, stone pillars is uh, wonderful. It's, it's one of the greatest monuments in the world. However, most Canadians cannot uh, fly over and take a look at it. And I thought, isn't it interesting? It's almost, there's a blind spot that here in Canada, we do not have one monument that is truly to memorialize this battle. This battle was very important. It was a battle where Canada uh, took over, conquered the Germans, and uh, where no other uh, country could do it. And uh, it was a time where the Canadians began to acknowledge themselves as independent from Britain. They were more than just a colony. They, uh, they showed themselves to, them, to themselves as well as the rest of the world that, that they have uh, noble, distinct uh, traits that kind of pushed uh, their culture into thinking that they were distinct. And so what I have here is uh, a sculpture to show people and to experience uh, the idea of the Battle of Vimy Ridge here in Canada. And so what I have here at the base of it is a life-size trench. And it's giving the viewer uh, the opportunity to almost merge within the sculpture. People can walk up to the piece and kind of have an experience and, and an understanding of what the, the Canadians uh, must have uh, uh, felt and experienced living in uh, the trenches, fighting in this battle. As you can see, it will be life-size, very detailed with the boards, the wooden boards, uh, with the action going on. Uh, you'll have, because there's many different figures here, you'll have... Uh, uh, many different scenes going on, the wounded uh, being taken care of, you'll have a, 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 a dead uh, soldier there, and then you'll have the action, the running around here. What I love about this idea is, unlike a lot of monuments where they're perched up on huge uh, pedestals, this in a sense has no pedestal and people can walk right up here and, and have that feel of how the soldiers must have felt there. The details here, I can hardly do with a small model like this, but what I would do is, is uh, show the intensity of the battle, the experience. Uh, little details like rats that are underneath the floorboards here will be represented. Uh, the details of the authentic uh, military weapons they would have used during this time will all be uh, studied, researched, and represented with true accuracy within this piece. And then from the trenches you have what will be one of the most amazing sculptural scenes possible and that is a whole battle going on where you have the Canadian troops coming up to the horizon line under attack. You can see there will be uh, the, the bombs uh, going off, uh, the death, the horror, the action, the valor all represented here. This will hold numerous figures. This is just to give you a representation of what it will look like in the scene. If you consider it probably around 30 feet long, it's going to be one big long narration of what it must have been like uh, at the Battle of uh, Vimy Ridge. And up here at the top you'll have the Germans. You can see I've suggested the bunkers here and, and some of the soldiers here. It will be something to see. It would be unlike any other monument in Canada where you're actually recreating a whole battle scene here. And then from the trenches, from the battle, rises up just like a rising sun, the symbol of Canada, the maple leaf. In a simple form, uh, very smooth, contrasting the rough grit of this, here our nation's identity rises up within the piece. And the idea is that I've never been to France. I've, I've met some of the people that actually seen the place and you have a when you're when you're at Vimy Ridge you have this haunting presence of of the soldiers that have sacrificed their lives 
And that's what I want to create with this. I want to create that presence. So when someone walks up to this, they get that experience that they are in France. And it'll also tell a fabulous story about uh, the valor, the sacrifice, and the courage, all worked within a 30-foot long sculpture. From a distance, you'll see this uh, maple leaf coming out, uh, merging out, rising like a rising sun, which gives hope and, and, and uh, pride to us being Canadian and our, our ancestors and, and the valor that they had. That's one thing that now Canadians can experience here in Canada an actual scene of Vimy Ridge, the life of the trenches. But there's another thing that in Canada we cannot uh, experience very easily unless we go to, uh, to uh, France. And that is what I have behind the piece. And that is the sense of how things are today. The peace that was left behind, the tranquility, and also the bodies and the men that were left behind. So. Just like all of the uh, European uh, cemeteries, where the Canadians uh, back in World War I, World War II, when you died in Europe, your bodies were left in Europe. Here, in a sense, we bring them home by having a military uh, cemetery, a Canadian military cemetery with life-size tombstones as one approaches the piece. I can imagine people leaving flowers here. This becomes an artistic memorial unlike any others I've seen in Canada. Now you have hundreds of tombstones. Now you have the sense of the loss and the sacrifice uh, that Canadians had during this battle. And from the distant horizon you see the iconic monument in Vimy Ridge, something that on the scope of this piece will look huge and awesome. And then from a distance it is clearly uh, 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 visible of what this memorial is for. So I think that it's over the last hundred years uh, to have a monument like this represented in our country is well needed. Uh, we all say that uh, lest we forget, well one way of remembering is doing something that is visibly so huge that it's hard to overlook. And so I envision as being one of the largest sculptures in Canada. It was one of the largest battles in Canada that defined Canada as a distinct nation. And I think that this would be a great way to keep the memories of those soldiers that have sacrificed uh, alive for future generations. Thanks.